It was a couple of years ago that we first brought you coverage of rally racing on a closed circuit similar to a stadium circuit. This led to the so-called Formula Rally, and that has led to the first race of champions for rally drivers and cars. Now, this is another version of the event which organizers hope will continue the popularity of the auto rally, but on a smaller scale. Steve Smith brings us this look at another in a series of firsts for the auto rally. Paris, Europe's metropolis. A transit hub and city of fashion. Home for artists and young people. A city of many faces. And for an entire day, motorsport dominated events in Paris. Instead of colorful scenes around the city's many sites, along the banks of the Seine and the Sacre Coeur, a very special auto race was the Paris attraction. The race of champions pitted all world rally champions against each other. It was the idea of former top driver Michel Mouton. So they are all the world champions here, all of them. It's the first time ever they are all together, and for the first time they are driving the same car. Walter Hall just started now. When he's coming back, it will be Anu Mikola behind him on the same car, not on, on equal car, on the same car. And this is the idea of the race. Equal race conditions pose some problems for the eight world champions. Here is only one car what I'm driving before. Of course, it's difficult to, and this road is not so easy to drive. The drivers, such as 1979 World Rally champion Valdegard of Sweden, had only a few minutes to get used to the new cars. Lancia driver Mickey Biazione had some special problems. I think that uh, for me, the, I have the biggest problem because I don't ride to the pedals of all the other cars. This look at training runs shows that even world champions need some time to get accustomed to the characteristics of the car. The different handling qualities of the vehicle with two-wheel or four-wheel drive caused some difficulties for the champs. And it was not just the rally ogles with up to 500 horsepower that posed problems. The one and a half mile oval course also set heavy demands. The course is very tricky, and uh, Michel had made the best what you can do. It's very slippery. Of course, it is raining, but I think it's quite nice. The cars of the world champs. The first heat with the Ford Sierra Cosworth. In the second heat, Opel Manta 400. The Audi Sport Quattro S1 is the car for the semi-final. The qualifiers, Scandinavians, Timo Salonen, Stick Blomqvist, and Juha Kankunen, as well as West Germany's two-time world rally champion, Walter Ruhl. By adding up total times, Finn Jutta Kankunen and Timo Salonen qualified for the eagerly awaited finals. Timo Salonen, the only world champ who must wear glasses, was the first to start in a Peugeot 205 Turbo 16. His top speed in the straights was 118 miles per hour. And the 1985 world champion went through the tight turns faultlessly. Solonen won five world championship races in one season in this car, a rally world sport record. His time here in the Peugeot is excellent, but will his narrow lead be enough for the last heat? The car to be used is a Lancia Delta HF Integral. Juha Kankunen, the 1986 and 87 world champ and winner of the 1988 Paris to Dakar rally, really pours it on. He risks everything on the wet and slippery course, but with good reason. The winner will pocket $57,000 in prize money. Although conditions were virtually the same for the drivers, the 29-year-old bachelor has a slight advantage. The two cars used in the finals, Peugeot and Lancia, brought Kankunen his greatest successes in 1986 and 87. Now he can put Paris under his belt. Juha Kankunen wins the race of champions with a one-second lead. <laughs> Jubilation for winner Juha Kankunen and for race organizer Michel Mouton, whose idea gave rally fans a day to remember.